while watching the shows that connect you to your favorite artists. Listen to what they have to say and watch exclusive performances. Welcome to the Plug Channel on stage. On stage. With your host, J Bass. 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 What up, everybody? It's your boy Jabez, aka the CHH Ninja. You're watching the Plug Channel's On Stage segment, season two, episode four, with my boy Andy Rebirth. Pastor Andy, how you doing, brother? Oh, I'm good, brother. Good to be here. Hey, Amen, man. If the folks don't know who you are, give them a little bit of your testimony, brother. A little bit? Yeah, I know it's gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was towed up. I was a mess. God didn't bless my mess, but he made it a message. I've been going back and forth to prison since I was a juvenile and just did a lot of time. Got incarcerated, 16 charges an adult. Got jumped into Latin Kings when I was like 14. Got out 17, 18, 19. I went back to prison 2021, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. Got out 26, 27. Went back 28, 29. Got out 30, 31, 32. I overdosed on heroin for the third time. It was my third felony conviction. They say three strikes and y'all, but three strikes brought my salvation. It brought my deliverance. I got sentenced to the church, mandated by the court. Never heard of it. No co-defendants, no funny stuff. Just a favor of the Lord and all. Uh, when God parted the Red Sea of the Louisiana judicial system, like I knew that I knew that I knew he was real. I wasn't reading the Bible like a novel no more. It wasn't like something I heard of. Like I was like, man, this is facts. Like this is real. This right. is the blueprints. You know, so I just read it with new eyes, man. And I ain't looked back since. And that was uh, eight years ago. Wow. Eight years only? Yeah. Bro, they're doing a lot, man. The favor of the Lord is definitely all over you, man. So one of my favorite tracks, and this is, it's, it's for a specific reason. It reminds me of like an army chant. It is, I know, I know that I know, I know. I said, I no, know uh, that uh, I know uh, that uh, I know. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's one of my favorite tracks, man. Uh, well, how did that track come about, man? If you don't mind me asking. I know it's Odie, but it's for me, one of the best. Because I know that I know that I know. Like, you know, people like, it, it, he's real. Man, I know that I know that I know he's real. You know, there's no doubts, no questions. You know, it's just... It, I know. <laughs> yeah, amen. So I want to talk about a few things in, in regards to the media and you. So I know that in New Orleans, man, the media has been uh, used to give God the glory for what you do for the community. Uh, whenever a shooting or something happened, you guys and your church is always right there. But then at another time, in regards to you still ministering the gospel, they came against you, saying that breaking laws or what have you in regards to the mayor or whatnot. H how did that go about? Because in one side, it's positive, And then on this side, they try to come against it. Yeah, that's real interesting because I still don't understand how they could come against that because it's like we're always in the neighborhoods and then really we're protected under the First Amendment rights. Like we are Americans, this is the land of the free and we was exercising our constitutional rights to worship. Like worship is essential. The Bible says, enter my gates with thanksgiving and enter my courts with praise. I have to worship my God. So I was doing what I have to do because most importantly, like I represent a government that cannot be overthrown. No, come on. Come on. Jesus Christ is king. Amen. And that's, I take orders directly from the throne. So, yeah, they, they, they came against us, but, you know, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. And God turns all things and works it around for his good. Right. So that gave the gospel a, pla a nationwide platform because it was covered all over the world. And the, the, the word went forward. Boy, and they heard that. And you also went out to Minnesota as well, right? They asked you to come out and minister. How did that happen? Oh, that was that was awesome. But well, when the when the thing happened, God was just really convicting me. It was like, man, I want you to go out there, right? And all of these protesters was going on, and I'm thinking, like, man, they're not gonna listen to me. Like, they mad, they out there, they wilding. And then God said, what about the one that will? Mm. And that just cut. So I'm like, all right, I want to go to Minneapolis when I seen all the riots going on. But it's not what I want to do. It's what God has led me to do. So he didn't lead me to go in that season because we had work to do in New Orleans. So and, and I'm talking about they had protests where it just got turned over where the mic ended up in my hand. And I got to pray it in and do the altar call of salvation. It just it, it was it, it was all God. And then we got a we got a message that they wanted us to come out to Minneapolis for Juneteenth. Right. And I was like man that was already in my heart to do so we drove out there with the church man shout out to one accord we got the 
most awesomest church I feel, amen. Might be a little biased in that suggestion, <laughs> but, you know, we went out there, man, for the glory of God, and uh, God was glorified, and the devil was horrified. Come on now. So, but it started off as a Bible study just at home, right? Yeah, and then home. now, I mean, your facility is beautiful, man, and you're amen. doing so much for the community, man. That's glory so awesome. God. Let's talk about the music. What are you going to be performing for us today? I'm going to do the song called The High Life. Why The High Life? Oh, because it's a high life, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I done did every drug you could think of doing, but ain't no high like the most high, Woo. you know what I mean? So, and this is off of the new project I'm currently recording called The Pope Got Saved. Mm. Mm. Why, why, yeah. <laughs> why that? Oh, that, hey, right. listen to this. I want to know right. this. Why it's, that? The Pope Got Saved. Paco is dead. See, when I was in the streets and I used to do secular music and when I was in prison, it started with the guard because... They had so much influence on the pod that we was on and that we was riding. And it was like, who does he think he is, the Pope? Put him on cell block A. They tried to remove me from that pod because they felt like I had too much influence. And I was like, the Got Pope, it. I like that, you know, because it fed my ego and my pride. And, you know, pride comes before the fall. You know, those who exalt themselves will be humble, but those who humble themselves will be exalted. Amen. So it was all for such a time as this, like the Pope got saved. This is also my declaration. Like Ooh. God got me going back to these same spots. Paco's dead. Rebirth, baby. It's a new day. Man, I'm excited. I can't wait to see this. You ready to give God the glory with it? Got to give God the glory. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. CHH Promotions. Uh, the Plug living, Channel. Living Water. Wanna call ministries. There should be no divisions amongst us. Let it burn. Right where you at? Check this out. Pop a perk. Pop a Zanny. I ain't popping nothing. Catch me sober with my family. I'm living life. I'm living life, and I remember what I did last night. Cut up, it's a vibe. This a vibe. It's a vibe. This a vibe. Hey, pop a perk, pop a zanny. I ain't popping nothing. Catch me sober with my family. Three strikes, I ain't catching four. Heard the Lord beating, and I opened up the door. I don't know about you, but this house gon' serve the Lord. Turn the dope house to the whole house. Yes, Lord. I don't remember how I got home last night Under influence, I was done in red light I should have been really dead that night They was bucking that iron, I was ducking from the lights Thugging the muzzle blast, thugging and loving the cash Thugging and digging the ditch, tossing and tossing with sin The wages, death, I was facing that now I choose Homie, life or death, come on Pop a perk, pop a zanny I ain't popping nothing, catch me sober with my family I'm living life, I'm living life And I remember what I did last night Cut up, it's a vibe, it's a vibe It's a vibe, it's a vibe It's a perk, pop a zanny I ain't popping nothing, catch me sober with my family Pop a perk, pop a zanny I ain't popping nothing, catch me sober with my family I'm living life I'm living life, let's go And I remember what I did last night Cause I lived the life, now I love life I don't do drugs, but I never been so high I used to live the thug life, now I love Christ I don't do drugs, but I never been so high Let's Most high from the most high Holy Ghost high, this is true, no lie I Most high from the most high Holy Ghost high, this the truth, no lie Give me the truth, no lie Move how I move, no pride. Do what I do for Christ. My crew really bought that life. No riding, no fences. I'm rocking with heaven. I'm rocking with God. Cause he is up in his own studio. Christian, we preach where we live. And we hitting the trenches, churches, the prisons. Men and men was left upon them. Blood in their eyes, diseases, and kill a friend. Under influences. When you under influences. Pop a purr. Pop a zanny. I ain't popping nothing. Catch me sober with my family. I'm living life. I'm living life, and I remember what I did last night. Cut up, it's a vibe. This a vibe. It's a vibe. This a vibe. Pop a perk, pop a zanny. I ain't popping nothing. Catch me sober with my family. I 
I ain't popping nothing. Catch me sober with my family. See, sin will take you further than you ever plan to go and keep you longer than you ever plan to stay. You talking about popping this and popping that like you turning up. You are turning down. The wages of sin is death. Choose life. And not only so you can live, but so your seeds can live also. Let's go.